I want to ask you, have you ever made a bad decision in your life? Have you ever based those decisions on the fear of Satan or the fear of man? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then this video is for you. So watch right to the very end. Join us by opening up your Bibles, if you would, from the Living Bible. And it says, you can see that I'm not trying to please you by sweet talk and flattery. No, I'm trying to please God. If I were still trying to please men, I could not be Christ's servant. Fear is Satan's number one weapon against the children of God. So we must never make a decision based on fear of Satan, fear of man, and we must never make a decision when we're trying to please somebody else. You know, we should only base our decisions on faith, on godly wisdom, and on fear and trembling of God. Fear is not about being afraid. So the fear of God means to be in awe of God. And trembling means to come to God in all humility. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6, the Living Bible. And it says, that's why we can say without any doubt or fear, the Lord is my helper. And I am not afraid of anything that mere man can do to me. A lot of our spiritual authority has been lost to Satan when we fear man, when we try to impress him, when we try to justify ourselves before him, when we try to please man, when we try to impress him. These are all negative attitudes and we must totally get rid of these attitudes and keep our hearts and our minds fully focused on the things of God. You know, we've made many bad decisions in our past and things didn't turn out so good. And that's because we didn't base our decisions on godly wisdom, godly guidance, the word of God or God himself. So let's make a positive change from now on and allow God's best into our lives. Amen. The final scripture today is from Proverbs chapter 4 verses 25 to 27 from the New King James Version Bible and it says, Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left. Remove your foot from evil. Well, when we remove our foot from evil, that means that we are establishing our decision making on the things of God. We're not focusing on the things of the fallen world. We're not doing things stupidly from our own wisdom or from our own strength. We're not doing things that are against God, but we're doing things that are with God, with God in the picture every step of the way, with godly wisdom, with godly guidance. And we do that in all humility. So we come before God and we ask God, we say to God, we've got a problem and we need your wisdom and your guidance. Please guide us and let this decision be made and let things from the decision be secure and based on God's word, placed on a solid rock. And that solid rock is Jesus Christ. Let everything be based on God, on Jesus Christ, and your paths will be made straight. You know, you don't want to stumble and you don't want to succumb to the ways of the world, the evils of the world. So keep looking straight ahead. Don't look to the left or the right, but keep looking straight ahead to the things of God and pray and ask God in all humility and sincerity of heart to help you to make these very important decisions in your life. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, gracious Father, hallowed be your holy name. Father, we love you, we praise you, we honour you. You're a holy God and a God full of wisdom. Guide the paths, guide our paths, Father God. Guide our every step, Father God. Light up our paths and make our paths straight, Father. Father, when we've got decisions of any kind, small or big, let us humble ourselves and come before your throne. Tune into your heavenly frequency and let us speak from our spirit man to your spirit man and ask you humbly 
to help us. Ask you humbly to strengthen us. Ask you humbly to guide us with your wisdom and ask, us, ask you humbly to help us to make the right decisions. Father, we know that when you're in charge of everything, then we are truly blessed, abundantly blessed, and things always work out for our good. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, let all the people who are watching this video, listening to this video, come before your throne with fear and with trembling. That means to be in awe of you and to be, uh, come to you in humility and ask for your help. Father, humble us all and allow us to come to your throne and tune into your spiritual frequency and ask for the help that we need, the guidance that we need, the wisdom that we need for everyday life. Father, we thank you and we thank you for all of your creation. We thank you for everybody listening and we thank you for the value in their lives. And Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, we praise you, we honour you, we exalt you, and we lift up and increase your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me in fellowship, and thank you for spending time in God's Word. I pray that I have encouraged you and inspired you, and I'll see you on the next Daily Living Word devotional video. God bless you, and bye for now. Bye-bye.